Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you third-party mouse gestures on macOS. Right, so on macOS, you know, magic mouse. Normally, if you want to get all the cool gestures, you got to buy a magic mouse, which costs like, what, $79 or something? Ooh, 209, uh, $209. My point is, uh, the magic mouse is kind of ex expensive. This mouse that I have right here, this guy, is a Dell mouse, right? So, so if you want to buy a Magic Mouse, let's just check out the price. Um, now let's compare that against Dell mouse, mouse, right? Magic Mouse seventy nine dollars. Dell mouse, uh, cheap Dell. Or actually, you don't even need cheap, right? Dell mouse price. All right, let's look at look at the pricing, man. <laughs> See what the difference is. See, Dell mouse is what, like $12 ish? I got this mouse for what? Even less than $12, right? This is like $13 ish, right? Uh, and that's wire and this wireless too. This mouse is wired, so even cheaper. My point is, um, how do you get the multi touch gestures on uh, just a regular mouse, right? Uh, so the way it happens is that for me, I use a software called uh, X Gestures. Right, so X gestures like that. All right, and inside of documentation, it's written by Brian Kendall. So if you want X gestures, just go online and look for X gest gestures. Right, just go to Brian Kendall's website, and he says he no longer maintains this app anymore. It's now freeware, but yeah, you can just click on the download the DMG and install it. Anyhow, um, so I have some setups. Um, inside of the X gesture setup, but I want to first give you a little tour of the cool features, right? So right now I got all these apps open, right? Desktop, Brave, uh, Sublime Text, uh, Microsoft Word, right? Now if I want to shift between desktops, all I got to do is to hit down the right button and then I can just shift like that. It's so smooth and so easy. And if I want to go the other direction, very easy, just hold down the right button and then just shift, just shift, just shift. So smooth, so easy, right? And so uh, let's just, for example, say I'm inside of Word, right? Uh, if I hold down the right button, I shift up, that's really easy. I just shift down, very easy, right? See, very smooth, very easy, right? And so those are uh, features I have. And another thing that I have is that sometimes, uh, you're gonna have a lot of windows on your front page. I mean, in your desktop, right? You're gonna have a lot of windows like this, right? And maybe you have some files here on the side, right? You have the files here on the side. I'm using stacks right now, but let's just say I'm not using stacks, right? And so you got all these, um, all these items here. And it would be really annoying to, if you wanna see the desktop to just minimize everything, minimize everything just to see your desktop, right? That's, a very, that's like a hassle and a lot of work. So what would be so much more easier is if you can just show desktop automatically. Now on, uh, if you have a trackpad or something, you can just show desktops easily or hit, um, I believe it was like function F11 or some, some, there's some key, there's some key shortcut, right? But I set it up such that all you have to do is hold down the right button and then click the left button. All right. And that's so easy because all you have to do is just click that button and it shows you all the files. Right. And that makes life so much easier because then you can access your files. You can see everything. OK, that works out fine. And then you can just view everything normal again. All right. So that's another feature. Another feature is showing Launchpad. Right. So normally um, in your computer, you would have like an app called Launchpad and then you would just show that uh, in, in your dock. Right. So Launchpad normally looks something like if you go into launchpad right you can drag your launchpad here and for most people they have this button here called launchpad they just click on launchpad and boom it shows right but for me I, I like to keep things simple and only use the apps that I use uh, for a lot so I don't have launchpad there so if I want to click launchpad all I have to do is hold down the left button and click the right button and boom it shows launchpad so smooth right so all I have to do is hold down the left button and then I can just click the right button to show launchpad all right and so how do I set up these gestures, right? So the way I set up these gestures is I go into X gestures, 
I go into gesturing and I set it up as right arrow to perform a mouse gesture. You can do other stuff like, you know, middle mouse button or something, but I prefer right, right mouse button just because I don't use the right mouse button that much. And then I just click apply settings here on the right hand, uh, applying settings on the bottom right hand corner. Now under options, I'm going to click enable mouse gestures. And then if I want to quit mouse uh, X gestures, I can click quit, but I'm not going to quit anytime soon. So I don't click quit. And then here uh, I leave all the settings the same and it says start X gestures when logging in. I, I'm going to check that and I'm going to click apply settings. Inside of applications, I have the different, um, I have the different uh, gesture set. So I have the up, down, left and right setup, right? And I have rock left and rock right. Okay, so what do these do? So the up, so the up gesture just pushes the page up, all right? The down just, uh, the down one, when, when, you're, when you happen to be up then, and, and you want to go down, it just hides everything. Um, and the left arrow, uh, the left one just shifts between desktops, right? All right, so this is what the left one should do. All right, so if I do the left one, I just brush the page to the left and that's what happens. For the right one, it's very similar, right? So for the right one, for the right one, I'm just gonna uh, click it and then I'm gonna brush the page to the right like that. And that's what the right gesture does. Okay, now, uh, what do the rock left and rock right gestures do? So rock left just shows desktop, right? And so the definition of rock left is you hold down the right arrow, I mean the right button, and then you click the left button. That's called rock left. The, the opposite, right, holding up, holding down the left uh, button and clicking the right one, this is called rock right, all right? So rock right, and then this is uh, this one's rock left. Okay, so you just have those set up. It's very simple, just go into, if you want a new gestures, just click new gesture, and then you can set up your gestures, and then you can click okay, or you can cancel it, or you can clear your gestures, okay? So so I have the rock left and rock right gestures set up, or I mean, rock left and rock right gestures are set up. These are pretty straightforward, right? So how does rock left work? I just go into gesture action, and I select select uh, show desktop. For the rock right, I just do open application and I open up the system launch pad, right? And launch pad, by the way, was just that, um, was just that app, right? So if I go to launch pad, yeah, this is the app you wanna open up for the open launch pad, um, rock right gesture. Now, the more tricky part is gonna be the up, down, left and right gestures. And for these, I had run an Apple script and you don't have this Apple script right now, but you can just copy what I have, okay? So what do these gestures do? So for the for the up gesture, I go into the documents folder or wherever I have it saved, and then I click the, um, I activate the Apple script called control up arrow script, right? So I'm gonna show you what that is. Um, let me open up the finder, go into mouse gestures. So here I have the different, uh, gest different mouse gestures, right? Control up arrow, what does that do? All it does is it simulates a up arrow, okay? It just simulates holding down the control key and pressing the up arrow. For the right one, it's the same thing. Hold down control, click the right arrow. For the left one, same thing, but hold down the control and click the left arrow. Okay, so I have these three um, mouse gesture Apple script setup, and I just link to them in these gestures, right? So the up one is gonna link to control up arrow. The down one is also gonna link to control up arrow. And then the left one is gonna link to control right arrow, so the opposite. And then the right one is gonna link to uh, control left arrow. And then when everything's all said and done, I just click apply settings and that's it. All right, uh, so, if you're ever wondering why are the left and right gestures the opposite of what the um, script does, kind of, is that when you have a page, right? Say you wanna brush the page to the left, like this. Like you wanna push the page like that, right? You wanna push the page like that. If you wanna do that, on macOS, that actually tells you to do control, control right arrow because you're switching to the workspace you're switching to the workspace to your right. So that's why it's control right arrow to do this, right? You can try it. Control right arrow brings you like uh, 
from left to right worker space. But for me, I have it defined oppositely because I, I'm doing like natural scrolling. So I want it to be such that when you press the right, uh, the right key and you brush left, then you're basically pushing the page to the left. And then when you do the opposite, you're just pushing the page to the right. So that, that might be a bit of confusion, but you can figure that out. But other than that, after you have these six uh, gestures set up, it's going to be pretty smooth.